Welcome to Royal Papworth Hospital on the Cambridge Biomedical Campus. After a hundred years in the village of Papworth Everard, the hospital's move to a brand new purpose-built building marks the start of a new chapter in our story. Since 1918, Royal Papworth Hospital has built an incredible reputation as one of the best heart and lung hospitals in the world. This building will help our staff members to continue to provide innovative new treatments and high quality care to our patients for many years to come. Designed and built to meet the highest international standards, our state-of-the-art facilities enhance the patient experience and support staff to achieve excellence in their everyday work. Our location on the Cambridge Biomedical Campus places the hospital at the centre of a concentrated hub of medical science and innovation. With our renowned cardiothoracic expertise, Royal Papworth Hospital joins a growing list of world-leading clinical and scientific organisations on the campus. We're really excited about our new hospital. So much work has gone into getting every detail of its design right, which means it really has been designed by our staff with our patients in mind. Our new hospital provides our staff with better facilities, the latest equipment and comfortable surroundings in which to provide the best possible care for our patients. Our location at the heart of the Cambridge Biomedical Campus provides many opportunities for us to work with other research organisations, industry and hospitals to bring new treatments to patients far more quickly. The campus is located to the south of the historic city of Cambridge and offers a wide range of amenities. These include food outlets, shops, a bank, hairdressers and a leisure and fitness centre with a 25 metre swimming pool and there are plans to offer more facilities as the campus grows. There is a separate tranquil space in the green and the gardens and there are walking trails around the site. Nightingale Park plus Ninewell's local nature reserve and the Great Knighton Country Park are also nearby. But we won't lose any of the fantastic culture that we are so used to at Royal Papworth Hospital. Working here means being part of a dedicated, professional and supportive team and our new hospital gives us a better environment to do that. But not just inside. When the weather's good, there is plenty of green space to enjoy. And yes, we still have a duck pond. Cambridge is a thriving city which is served by major roads, including the M11, A14 and A11. A key principle of the Cambridge Biomedical Campus is to promote the use of alternative sustainable modes of transport. Royal Papworth Hospital's staff and visitors are encouraged to consider alternative ways to get to the hospital and use a combination of modes of travel, such as car share, cycle, walk, train and bus for their journey. The Trust works with Liftshare and My Personal Travel Plan to support staff in planning their journey. There are various options to travel to Royal Papworth Hospital. The guided busway brings people onto the site directly from Cambridge Railway Station, as well as from Huntingdon and St Ives. The Cambridge Biomedical Campus has its own bus station at its Hills Road entrance. The majority of buses pick up and drop off here. There are further stops around the site, plus a patient courtesy bus which stops at the Royal Papworth Hospital main entrance the campus bus station and multi-storey car park too. It runs from Monday to Friday and is free not only for patients but also for visitors and staff. Cambridge Railway Station is well served by trains from a wide area and is about two miles from the hospital. The nearest park and ride sites to the hospital are at Trumpington and Babraham Road with regular buses coming directly to the campus with a journey time of around 10 minutes or a 20 to 25 minute walk. Royal Papworth Hospital parking is located in the adjacent multi-storey car park too. Staff that meet the Royal Papworth Hospital parking eligibility criteria will be issued an access card for the car park. Staff members pay a daily staff rate to use the car park. 
Royal Papworth Hospital staff do not have prioritised access to other car parks on the site. If they do use them, they will be charged at full visitor rates. There are a few spaces outside the hospital to allow for patients being dropped off or collected. Wheelchairs are available from the wheelchair storage areas on the ground floor of the hospital. There are disabled bays available for blue badge holders outside the hospital and also on levels 1 to 4 of car park 2. Cambridge is, of course, a bicycle friendly city, so there are many cycle routes, including from the park and ride car parks and from the train station. The hospital has a cycle scheme which enables staff to access interest free loans to help them buy a bike. Please see the Trust's staff travel plan for more detail regarding both these schemes and for other helpful information regarding cycling to and from the new hospital. There are staff shower and changing facilities in the basement and on the first floor. Secure lockers are provided for all substantive staff. Guidelines for use of these lockers are available on the intranet. Our hospital combines an efficient clinical layout with a distinctive external appearance and has been designed to allow flexibility to respond to future changes in technologies and clinical breakthroughs. The new environment and landscape surroundings reflect Royal Papworth's philosophy to care for the whole person. The building has lots of natural light, from the central atrium where the main reception desk is located to the patient ensuite bedrooms with their floor to ceiling windows. There are main doors to the north and south of the building and most staff, patients and visitors will arrive by one of these entrances. The hospital has open access areas for patients, visitors and staff, including a restaurant, shop, chapel and multi-faith prayer room, as well as some areas which are restricted for staff access only. Every member of staff must carry an ID badge to access the areas they work in. There is an intercom system to access the building after 10pm. The basement of the hospital is where you'll find the digital and health records teams, also estates and facilities, clinical engineering, the post room and staff changing rooms and showers and secure drying room. The ground floor is where you'll find the main reception desk plus day ward, outpatient departments, discharge lounge, heart and lung function, imaging, nuclear medicine, pharmacy, rehabilitation, switchboard and trust office space. The patient advice and liaison service, Royal Papworth Hospital charity and fundraising team, social workers and cashiers are also based on the ground floor. Public amenities include a restaurant, coffee outlet, convenience shop, cash machine, baby change and multi-faith room and chapel. On the first floor or hot floor there are operating theatres, bronchoscopy, cath labs, critical care unit, trust office space and first floor changing rooms with showers. There is no access to the second floor which is a plant floor. The third floor includes the cardiology ward and the respiratory support and sleep centre. On the fourth floor there is Royal Papworth Private Care, Cystic Fibrosis, Lung Defence and Respiratory. The fifth floor includes cardiac surgery and transplant wards. There are staff restrooms on all floors. These are equipped with fridges, hot water boilers and microwaves. There are two link corridors connecting the hospital with Addenbrooke's. One is for the safe transfer of patients between the two hospitals, whilst the other is for use by facilities services teams. We believe that the arts have a key role to play in delivering a high quality healthcare environment, not only for our patients and visitors, but also for our staff. Art is integrated into the fabric of our hospital in a number of key areas. For example, at the main entrances, in the outpatients department and in the inpatients bedrooms. To assist with wayfinding, each level in the hospital has a different theme colour, which is picked out in accents across the floor. In the administrative areas, each department has a designated zone consisting of desks and storage, including lockers with drawers or cabinets. There are also hot desks, study booths and meeting rooms that staff members can book to use in advance. Facility services such as cleaning, catering, portering and security are provided by OCS. 
The building is maintained by Skanska Facility Services or SFS. Some facility services are provided to the Trust by Cambridge University Hospitals NHS Foundation Trust through shared service agreements. These include linen services, waste management and maintenance of the link corridors. The service help desk number for all these facility services is extension 639000. For further information regarding the provision of these facility services and the operation of the help desk, please see the Trust's Facilities User Guide, which is available on the intranet. As you'd expect from a purpose-built, state-of-the-art hospital, we have the very latest equipment and technology, helping us work in more efficient ways. We have a unified communication system across the hospital and at Royal Papworth House in Huntingdon, so that our staff members can stay connected through their mobile, laptop, tablet, PC and desk phone, no matter where they're based. The Trust switchboard service is located on the ground floor. Personal extension numbers are assigned to staff members so that they can log in to any of our new voice over internet protocol phones across the Trust. In addition to the clinical video conferencing facilities in MDT rooms, some of our meeting rooms also have audio visual facilities that enable teleconferencing and audio conferencing via the telephone system. The hospital provides secure staff and guest Wi-Fi access plus mobile network coverage, and each patient bedroom has a free view television. The hospital has a no smoking policy. Smoking is not permitted inside or outside of the hospital building. Help and support for staff to stop smoking is available through Cambridge Health at Work. The hospital includes all the fire safety features required to meet the highest specifications. Wards and departments are compartmentalised to prevent any small fire spreading and to allow everybody to escape to a safe place in the event of fire. The underpinning principle is progressive horizontal evacuation away from the fire. Everyone working in the hospital needs to ensure that they know their department's fire action plan and their local evacuation route. Each department has a fire action plan and all staff members must continue to regularly update their mandatory training in fire safety. There is also a trained fire response team in the hospital. If anyone in the building discovers fire or smoke, they should raise the alarm and activate a manual call point by breaking the glass. Use the nearest telephone to ring 2222. Everyone must be familiar with the fire alarm sound. Short bursts or an intermittent tone means the fire is in an adjacent zone and is being investigated. You do not need to evacuate, but you should be prepared to accept evacuees or evacuate if required. However, if the tone is a continuous alarm, this signals that the fire is in your zone and you must follow the instructions of the trained fire response team in accordance with the fire action plan. In cases of immediate danger, this may include evacuation. Everyone working in the hospital has a responsibility for not putting themselves in danger and knowing what to do when a fire or other emergency situation occurs. Resus trolleys are available throughout the ground and first floors, with grab bags kept at both the ground floor reception and at the ambulance entrance. These are used when responding to an incident within the hospital grounds. On each of the ward floors, the resus trolley is in close proximity to the staff base and its location is identified by a wall-mounted projecting sign. It is your responsibility to find out the location of the resus trolley in your department. If you see anyone in difficulty outside of the hospital building, please raise the alarm by shouting for help and calling 2222 from the nearest telephone or dialing 999. A security team helps to ensure that everybody who uses the site stays safe and secure and to protect the Trust's property. The security office is located on the ground floor near the main reception. The security service is provided by OCS and can be contacted on extension 639000. The building is also protected by a closed circuit TV system. I hope that everyone who comes to our hospital will grasp the unique opportunities provided by this location. 
helping Royal Papworth Hospital deliver and develop new treatments for many generations to come. <laughs>